Hello everybody, this is Maju Marnrose. I am a peace visionary, a life coach, and a... My name is Maju Marnrose. I'm a human being with love. A uh, life coach, peace visionary, and what? I'm a universal healer, a life coach, and a peace visionary. Yes, correct. Okay, uh, I would look here. Okay. Okay, some psychopath, narcissist, and sociopath are pretending to be empath. Because they have no soul. And some of these psychopath, narcissist, and sociopath who befriends empath, people who love to give, people who love to give, 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 and they love to take. And you can't, you can't, you cannot make sense of this situation because psychopath, sociopath, and narcissist are people who will hurt empath. People who will hurt empath and then blame them for it. And uh, they love to guilt trip empath. And some, and uh, I'm talking about, um, so you see there's this social network media called Facebook. And you see there are uh, a ton of people on it and there's Facebook groups where a ton of people share their uh, whatever they share and there's different kind of groups in this Facebook groups and one of them is um, by a spiritual person and I feel that recently after I left that group I understand that um, I start to see with distance comes clarity so with distance that came with clarity my clarity actually wake me up and said hey Maz Remember that woman that you helped and that you trained her to be your assistant and she uh, broke your soul? She even tried to steal it? Remember? And then... The thing is... Some psychopath, some narcissist, some empath loves to be in the center of attention. They love to be in the center of attention. They love it. They love it to bits and pieces. They love the attention. So when psychopath, narcissist, and empath, they... Uh, oh, wait. When psychopaths, sociopaths, and narcissists um, find out the word empath, it's actually one of their best, best outlet to find attention. And they say, oh, I'm very sensitive. <laughs> like that. You know, they're very dramatic. But empaths are not dramatic. Empath hates being dramatic because it takes so much energy. Until empaths don't really want to react to this drama anymore. But psychopath loves to push buttons in other people. Sociopath, narcissist, they love to gaslight. Empath, gaslight. What is gaslight? I only learned this term um, just yesterday night. Gaslighting is when you manipulate other people's mind. Because empath, they are strong in their heart. But it Empaths who are extreme emotional, emo, not just emotional, extreme emotional awareness is stronger than their mind. So when empaths actually goes in life um, meeting all these people who are psychopath, narcissists, or sociopath, it's like polar uh, opposites attracts each other to create balance because you are not balanced in the first place. You are very empathic. So, when this happens, this narcissist, people who abuses people, who uh, takes attention, likes the attention, gets people to pity them, to pity them. Oh, poor you. Oh, my God, poor you. They love the nurturing, the, 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 the care, the attention that they are seeking freely from these empath people. So there are psychopath, narcissist, and uh, sociopath 
in that Facebook group that I told you about. And um, ever since I left, it created a clarity within me. And I realized that psychopath, narcissist, and sociopath are people who are attention seekers. Who will always hog, suck. And uh, psychopaths are really fucked up. Because the psychopath I've met actually go, went to the point where they steal my soul. And I know that people say be careful of what you share. But other people need to realize is that stealing souls is... Uh, it happens. When you feel like you're so broken. When you feel like you lost your soul. Maybe because somebody did steal your soul. And psychopath who has a lot of brain power, they can they can also have psychic powers that are not aligned to love. Because there's two different psychics. Psychics who are aligned to the love, the universe, the source, and doing it as a vocation, as a career, healthily. And psychics who are abusing their psychic abilities to manipulate other people and taking advantage of their vulnerability so that they can take a profit and making a greed out of their living so these are the psychics um the psychic the people who have psychic ability to abuse other people through their sociopathic narcissistic psychopathic nature so, and when they see vulnerable people, they step over it. And guess what? I want to tell you something about psychopath, narcissistic people, and sociopath are people who are broken souls. That's why they don't have uh, emotions, empathy, remorse when they do something bad because their souls are broken or their souls are stolen. So... I'm saying something this important is because I saw the truth is that all the souls are being uh, consumed by a large amount of entity and <clears throat> there's maybe 3% of the extreme psychopathic people in the world and that would say Queen Elizabeth is a psychopath who took and conquer a lot of lands all over the world and she's still doing it to other Middle Eastern areas and um, my opinions are just my own and it has nothing to do with any um, uh, you know freedom of speech freedom of expression and uh, psychopathic people who are the wealthiest people on this earth planet they are actually uh, abusing uh, the other people's souls by sucking the soul out of other people by putting them into suffering putting them into fear putting them into control and authority all these judge and laws those are a constriction to make people obey to the land to the law of the land or the law of the nation the law of the government the law of the religion so any law that is inhumane is a law that doesn't allow a freedom of being. And uh, psychopaths, narcissistic sociopaths are people who are soul sucking. They, in, 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 in A to Z, as you know, if you read my bio data, bio data, my personal... Uh, description I say that Mazi Minos is a universal healer who heals from A to Z when I say A to Z um, this psychopathic um, topic this sociopath narcissistic topic is actually very intense for my life as I grow up around psychopath individuals and um, and then up to the very recent last year, I met a spiritual relig uh, a spiritual psychopath who actually organizes events in Los Angeles under Alchemy Event, under AlienShift.com, under New Humanity Movement. This man called Said David Farman, he is a psychic abuser that comes from greed, who are a psychopath who is a um, very 
very maligned, malevolent being who is coming from greed. And hence, I don't connect to this person anymore because of his action coming from the lack of unity, love, and with a and he's a vul. This has to come out. I don't care if I don't have a voice. It will come out. This situation <clears throat> is very harmful. So the spiritual psychopath, Sai David Farman, he is one of the example <coughs> of the psychopath in this world. <coughs> who is taking people's voices because they use mind control. <clears throat> Queen Elizabeth, wealthy people in this world who does not honor and respect other beings. They, <clears throat> they abuse these people with fear, intimidation, law, um, constrictions, so, an example of the psychopath people I've met last year is the Saeed David Farman. <coughs> Saeed David Farman, who is a psychopath, who is a spiritual uh, scam artist and fraud. And I believe that today and the incoming days in the future, is one of the most important days where people will start to speak up because <clears throat> one of my uh, energy global healing event that I don't do and tell anybody not at all when I am called to do it I do it um, so this year those false spiritual people will have their covers blown the truth will come out this year a lot of truth will come out this year a lot of Things that are hidden will be revealed this year. A lot of ugliness within people will be coming out this year. And a lot of beautiful essence of those people who have been patient, who have been kind and loving and generous are coming out to fruition and are achieving greatness this year coming on to the coming future. <clears throat> so, um, where is it? So, psychopath. Narcissistic people and sociopaths. Sociopaths is the low level. Narcissistic is also the low level. But psychopaths are the extreme level. Why? Because psychopaths are people who forces other people to break their free will. They take their other people's free will and crunch their souls and take their souls away. And these people who has been in an abusive situation with a psychopath... <clears throat> They will feel like their soul is taken. They will feel like their um, soul is broken to pieces. That like they have no longer, no more will to live. <clears throat> so fuck you, Sai David Farman. And uh, um, psychopath is not a joking matter because psychopath, sociopath, and narcissist are people who are a call for help because they. They have no soul. They are empty. They have no compassion. They have no remorse. They have no consciousness. They are like walking zombies who who comes from very much fear, uh, fear, ego, lack, greed, um, intimidation. Um, a lot of those negative aspects where they they also are best at portraying perfection or portraying greatness and allowing and duping, manipulating people, deceiving people by showing that, hey, I am doing this for a good cause. For example, um, the woman that I actually helped in Malaysia, her name is Lim Saw Ling. She's doing a good cause, helping children, but actually she's sucking those children's souls and I don't know what else to do about it. And I am not interested to um, connect to her, but I am interested to speak up for the children 
who have their soul being sucked by psychopathic teachers, kindergarten teachers, because there's a lot of teachers who are psychopath. Because I know this, because I've met psychopathic teachers when I was uh, 11 years old, 12 years old. These psychopathic teachers love to crush your soul because you are shining. You you are a you are an essence of you are an essence of who they see being rejected. Their essence were rejected, so they have to reject your essence until it be diminished. But if you're not powerful enough to say, "Hey, you can't treat me like that." They will be successful in crushing your soul and taking your soul and biting your soul and eating it like a cannibal. And I'm talking this in extreme gruesome and brutality because it is true. Because you have no idea what I've been through. But you know that I'm strong now. But you have no idea what have happened to me in the past. And I'm talking from experience. I don't talk from because I, I've been taught by a master, a teacher, a guru. No. I'm talking about life experience that have brought me here, being wise, being powerful, being strong. And I've met many, many individuals who are psychopathic, sociopath, and narcissistic people. And we start now to have a strong sense of power where we be aware that this psychopath, this narcissist, or this sociopath are no longer allowed to control our hearts and taking it and breaking it and see ourselves suffer because they have lost their soul. Psychopaths, sociopaths, narcissistic people have lost their soul. They lost their soul. They don't have a soul. Nothing. And the only reason why they keep coming to people who have a soul, who have a, a light, in their soul is because they're of extreme darkness they they lose they lost it they didn't hold their heart strong enough they didn't protect their heart strong enough and they're going everywhere in the world trying to destroy people's life trying to destroy empath people who are heart centered people who are giving people who are kind they put on a mask of falsity they put on this mask and they say, oh, I'm kind. I'm going to give you whatever that you need also. I'm being balanced. I'm being integrity. But it's just spoken words. It's not actions. They lie. They deceitful. They fraud. They scam. They will tell you anything you want to hear because they are a pro at mental manipulation and they can read all your exterior. And they can, they, they can see... Further, because it's a method of survival for them. Because psychopath, narcissist, sociopath are people who are, are on the verge of extreme survival state. They always have to win. They always have to be greedy. They always have to take. They always have to force. They always have to be in control. If they're not in control, they will not be there with you. If they can't control you, they will destroy you. And a lot of children, a lot of children who are shining, who are born, beautiful, graceful. If their parents are psychopath, narcissists, or even sociopath, those parents are breaking this children's soul. Sucking their soul out. Because if they don't have a soul, their children will no longer have a soul. So this is the tragedy of our earth right now. This is the tragedy of our entire social, social development, society, culture, everywhere in human race. If it's an urban city that disrespects each other, that doesn't have honor and equality, the broken families, anything, they have broken souls or their souls being taken away by their parents or their lovers you know it's time for you to wake up be strong self master protect yourself and i love you and i'm sending you my best regards thank you and if you want any sessions to work on your self mastery to work on your self protection a defense a psychic defense learn um to love yourself 
get a session with me because I want to help as much people as possible who wants to value and honor what I'm doing as a vocation here on earth because this is not a play thing for me this is not a game this is reality but at the same moment we can celebrate life with love don't allow people to destroy your hope don't allow people to destroy your faith don't allow people to destroy your dream because the psychopath sociopath narcissistic people are people who will do that and they choose their victims they choose their opponents and if you think that you're around a psychopath if you think that you're around a sociopath and narcissist well it's time for you to learn to defend yourself because defending yourself is actually a state of self-respect integrity and self-love and it's so important to be powerful and not to feel guilty not to feel guilty not to feel ashamed nothing it is all right to be powerful it is all right to shine it is all right to reveal who you are to be who you want to be it is all right to love to be and it's safe for you to reveal your powers it is safe for you to reveal who you really are thank you for watching blessings to you thank you bye